days ago already had 543 downloads makes sense as this thing is amazing now if these freaking paddles move I'm gonna flip out no nothing's happening nope not doing it it's not ah uh, VTOL Q&E interesting VTOL based you can see it right there oh man Yo, I don't even care that those things don't move because this is some ingenuity right here. This looks freaking phenomenal. All of these, and it's even flared out at the end. How, how did you do it? You know, I, I can see, I can see the, uh, how you did it. And it looks easy, but I know it definitely was not easy. And so I'm not even going to say, oh, but this is easy because <laughs> it definitely wasn't. And this thing is massive too, like, but, oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't even care it doesn't do anything because it's freaking so sweet looking. It's amazing. It's amazing. This is a race plane. If you can't tell, look at this beast. It's from Canada. Canadians. SETI 117. It's called the SEDCO R17 Venom 2. For the race challenge on Ocean View Speedway, the said Co R-17 Venom is a race plane, and the successor to the R-16 Venom, the said Co Venom 2 goes great, does great on Ocean View Speedway. It also has modded engines and fuel. Well, that's why it's got modded fuel and engines. That's why it does great. Ocean View Speedway. Is that uh this thing? I guess. See it. Uh, Holy crap. Well, it's up in the air already. Yeah, so if you... You know, I tried to... St Whoa! Okay, I take it back uh, from my previous video. I said, this is this right here is the most maneuverable plane I've ever flown in simple planes. Holy crap. Um, okay, so first of all, I tried to find modded engines. And I couldn't find them. I don't know where they were. Dude, this thing is sweet. Holy crap, man. Yeah, I know it has modded engines and stuff, but dang. Just the maneuverability alone is, like, freaking phenomenal. And it does that thing where it locks when you roll, which is amazing. I got to figure out how to get it to do that. When you roll it, you don't have to worry about it continuing to roll like some others or wobble wobbling it's like perfectly balanced yo what the heck man this thing's amazing oh crap oh no the water oh no Whoop, no worries it literally can like cut like ex so extremely fast here we go and sorry <laughs> holy crap dude this thing is insane Oh, I didn't pull up fast enough. <laughs> Yo, I want to do it again. Look at that. I just took the wheels up. Didn't even need didn't even need to have them down. Could have just started in the air. <laughs> oh, that's trippy, man. Going cockpit mode here. Ready? Oh no! No worries. Open. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little too confident, apparently. Okay, we'll try this again. I'll try this again. My phone's going off. All right, here we go. Oh gosh! What the heck? Oh no! Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> this thing is insane, man. Oh, gosh, I can't even keep up with the, with the freaking camera angle. Wow, this is insanely good. Yo, oh, this is pretty cool, and this is the Simple Police Aircraft by Rio Laotian 9999. Police Aircraft for China Police Officer. Yeah, look at this. This kind of looks like some sweet futuristic back to the future type of vehicle that you would see in the movie or like 
uh, freaking RoboCop or something. Like, look at it. that is sweet looking. Good detail. Good. Oh, oh, I think we got some modded engines here. Perhaps, because it looks like this thing's gonna be pretty well. Yo, where are the guns at? There's gotta be some guns on here if you're a fleece aircraft, right? In the future? I would imagine there's galactic rebel scum everywhere that you need to take care of. Or some pirates or something. Space pirates. Oh gosh, space pirates. Yeah, doesn't it look like some kind of futuristic car you would see in Back to the Future or Robocop or something? It looks, it looks sweet. 110, 110. Is that 110 or is that something else? What does that mean on the front? Anybody know what that means? Hopefully it's not anything bad. I think the little lights in the back. These are, these are perfectly done right here, these lights. Oh, the cockpit's right there. I didn't even see it. Mm. Yeah, look at that. Cockpit view right there. Sweet. Coming in hot. Coming in. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, it's... Oh. It's not entirely incredibly maneuverable, but... It's pretty cool nonetheless. It's so cool. I love doing flybys. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with them. Dude, that's pretty sweet, man. Good job. Holy crap. Now, if you've watched some of my other Simple Plane videos, you've probably seen something that looks somewhat similar to this. Very similar paint scheme. Well, this is by La Sol, and he made Sea Fortress post-apocalyptic. This he must has a whole series of post-apocalyptic stuff. A rusty fishing trawler, armored and ready to face an endless ocean, inspired by post-apocalyptic concept art, easy controls too. Um, so he's got a gun right there. You see that gun? You see that gun? He also has missiles right here. It's freaking amazing. And then this little trawl thing right here. If you use Q and E, now it does also spin the gun, but it also spins this thing. Now I don't think there's any way to open that up, which would be sweet. But it's like a crane type of thing that spins around. And there are like boxes and everything right here. Look at that, that's like some pretty good detail. All right, so let's see what this thing can, can do here. I can hear a, some kind of jet engine inside, as well as this prop that's here, I think. It's pretty quick, man. Trolling the seas, the high seas, an endless ocean of death. Can I get it to turn any faster than this? Come on, baby. Look at that. Look at this little dish up here turns, too, when you do a Q and a Interesting. All right, there we go, there we go. Now we just need to go forward. The water controls are a little weird, I think, when you make something that's for the water. Because you drift a lot. Like a lot. You drift a ton. Side to side. And it doesn't really go like forward. I guess it's maybe it's too fast. Although this doesn't seem very fast at all. I wonder if this is acting as like a counterweight. It might. Might be. I don't know. I don't know. No, no, don't hit the, don't hit the, don't hit the shore. Don't hit the shore. Don't hit the shore. Go away from the shore. No, no, no. Go away from the shore. Uh, don't butt him up. Don't butt him up. No, 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 no. Oh, that is a close call right there. I'm coming to you, Bridge. That was a really freaking close call. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. I like the little point on the front. It's got even, it's even got missiles and a gun. Who doesn't like a gun and missiles? Yeah, I got. I, I want to look at his profile and see if he's got a whole set of series of these because I might like. I might start doing like s series of people stuff. Like, like uh, I've had a couple of people who've made a ton of stuff for me, and that. But they have like a lot of stuff, and they're all like kind of cool series worth of things. Like, I really want someone to make like Tron vehicles. 
I want to test I want to test out some Tron vehicles that look freaking sweet. So if you can make stuff, make somebody make Tron vehicles. I want to see some Tron vehicles. Those would be sick. All right, so uh, yeah, that's, this thing is pretty cool. I love the windows and everything as well. Like that's really, really good detail on this thing. Look at that. There's a door, the windows, some boxes on the ground. There's even a little antenna here or a little radio dish thing. That is so cool. And the guy even has a, uh, he's even like, he's an actual guy. Look at him. Let me look at his face. There we go. He's like an actual little guy. Look at him. He's like a crash test dummy. I think I'm going right towards the... I can't get out of this view! Okay. Let's do, let's do something else. Aw, oh, check this out. Freaking Tiger 1 over here. This is uh by Saruman. And as you can tell... Oh, look at the shovel. There's a shovel on there. Tank tra tanks in the front, tank tracks in the front. Uh, let's get some missiles right there. Or some missiles right there. Okay, Q and E turn side to side. Um, is there a way to unlock the... Uh, there's no way to unlock the... Uh, uh, um... What? The heck just happened? What? There was a... Somehow a Boom 50 came out of this. <clears throat> Excuse me? Excuse me? What the crap? <laughs> How is this even happening? Okay, wait a minute. Where's this? Where the heck is this even coming from? You can't even see it. It doesn't even come out. Dude! Yo, I got an idea. Locations bridge. The, the So the turret doesn't move, but the... You can freaking shoot a giant bomb! <laughs> oh no! Hey, we're falling! Oh no! Oh, whoa! <laughs> that is freaking amazing. Alright, so let's drive this thing. It's VTOL based. Can barely move, man. Did I have to. Um... What? What the crap? It's going in reverse. It's got reverse controls, inverted controls. Oh my gosh. This thing's too fast. All right, missiles. What's the missiles actually? I don't know if they're set to anything. It's set. Get wrecked. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> That made the bridge fall. No, okay. I have a question. I've started to test all these. <gasps> it can. It can go on water. I've started to test everything because people make things be able to go on water, and sometimes you don't even know it. Fire the. Oh. Fire the boom. Fire the big boom. Right. And now we see if it can go back on land. Because obviously they've invented some kind of new technology that allows tigers to float on the water. And so we must you The heck? The heck is happening? Um... There's no more engine. It's not even moving forward anymore. What the crap? I don't understand it. Fire the missiles. All right, last and not least, we have this beauty. This beauty. Look at this thing. It looks freaking amazing. The detail. Man, you can tell you spent a lot of time on this. Uh, this is the Porco Rosso 
Curtis R3C0. Donald Curtis's seaplane from the movie Porco Rosso. I've never seen that. Based on the Curtis R3CO, there are some slight differences in the film version. I put a lot of time into the details of this plane. The handling isn't the best. I had to angle up the prompt just to make it not nosedive in the water. Oh, I see it. I see it. Dude, this is really sweet. Alright. <clears throat> Here we go. Thing looks really, really nice. Like, you put a ton of detail into this, man. Good job, dude. It's off. Oh, yeah. Handling's not the best. Okay. It's not too bad, though. What the crap just happened? <laughs> Alright, I fired the gun. And apparently... Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, Dougie. So we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to do that anymore. That's not the way to work this plane. It's not too bad, man. This is actually pretty good. Look at that. Tell me what plane can do that right there. Not many. It's not bad at all, dude. Give yourself some props, bro. This is pretty good. It just wobbles a bit, but that's okay. Handling's pretty good. Maneuverability. Whoa, what the crap? What the crap? What just happened? No! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, we're alright. We're alright. We're alright. We're, we're, we're dead. We're dead. Uh, one thing I love about the... I love the... I, I just love the entire design of this. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you for being here today with me. Subscribe if you're new. I don't know why I'm doing these voices. Uh, this is why I should not record when I first wake up in the morning because I do some of the weirdest things in my recordings and say some of the weirdest things. Plus, my allergies are always bad. I don't know what's happening.